What's going on everybody? Brandon here and I am back with another action figure review. Today we're taking a look at Spin Master's brand new Bat Tech figures. I'm going to call this the Big Wave 2 Part 2. We get all new figures, we get all new play sets, and brand new vehicle, and a brand new 12 inch figure. Really, really awesome stuff you guys. Alright guys, check it out basic standard five inch figures for five bucks from five below we got batman in a black paint deco and on the back side advertising for the new bat tech app and we got nightwing uh he kind of looks like he's in some classic armor or costume and again same deal on the back bat tech if you need nightwing's upc here it is if you need batman's upc here it is. We're going to get these guys out of the packaging. I'm going to tell you exactly what you're in for with these basic figures. Stay tuned. All right. So we got these figures out of the packaging. We're going to take a look at them and then I'll give you some background and some explanation as to why on earth we would get a five inch scale from Spin Master when they've been producing three and three fourths inch or four inch figures all this time. So here's Batman with a nice shiny glossy cape. I really like that he is all black. That's a really, really cool paint deco. Always has been, always will be since 1989. Just an awesome, awesome idea. We got moving in his head side to side, and then we got moving in his arms. They come forward all the way full 360, and that's it. Yes, that's correct. You're looking at an action figure with only three points of articulation. Every time you set him down, he's always going to stand up. And that is the purpose for that. And he is very, very durable. We'll do the same with Nightwing now. A really, really cool looking figure. I really feel like they went with a classic sculpt here. Um, they just added the, you know, New 52-esque, or I'm sorry, DC Rebirth type boots. And that's really it. Nightwing is a great, great looking figure. In fact, I like this guy more than I like the Batman figure. An awesome, awesome piece. And again, he's got moving in his head side to side. And his arms do a full 360. And that's it. Three points of articulation. Every time you put him down, he's going to stand up. An awesome, awesome looking set of figures. Beautiful sculpts. I absolutely love it. Now, why on earth will we get five inch figures from Spin Master when they're producing these this whole time? These uh, three and three fourths inch or four inch figures. Um, why, why do the five inch scale? Well, I think there's a couple really good reasons to point out. I know Spin Master said that this is supposed to be their international line meaning you'll find these figures anywhere overseas. A little bit harder to find in the States. It's been at five below for certain. That's where we can find these figures. They're really, really sturdy. So that is a great price point of $5 for us, American dollars. And the best thing about these figures is that they are sturdy, really, really sturdy. Like kid tested and kid approved time and time again, these types of figures last and they last for a very long time. And the other thing, probably maybe they weren't thinking about this, but so many figures came out at the five inch scale from Mattel's end when they did Batman versus Superman, when they did Justice League, when they did Shazam, when they made all these figures, even the Marvel figures, most of those basic figures, they're all in that five inch scale. So to do this, to continue to compete with the other brands, with previous action figures, some kids had these when they were younger, now they grew up, they want more figures and scale with what they have now. It just fits, it makes sense, and it's absolutely awesome. Probably only cost a couple dollars to make, they nailed it on the head. I was so surprised when I saw Spin Master making these five inch figures, because I knew for sure McFarlane had six inch and up, and so to hit it right there at the five inch mark, an absolutely brilliant idea. Wonderful figures to have in my collection, and I'm sure many kids are very, very happy to have these. Awesome figures. All right, you guys, that about does it for this Bat Tech review. Thank you so much for watching. 
The likes, comments, shares, and subscriptions continue to grow my channel. I love you guys. Thank you so much for the support and all of the positivity and feedback. I absolutely love it. Let me know what that tech figures you're finding at your local Walmart and Target, what you're going to pick up and pass, and what you think of these figures. I really, really like them overall, and I kind of can't wait to see where we go next from here with the Spin Master Batman figures and what the next idea or motif is going to be. I think it's going to be really, really awesome, whatever it is. Hopefully we get some new figures, new characters, and some really exciting stuff out of it. It's a great time to be a Batman fan, to be a DC fan, and I can't wait for what's next. Once again, I'm Brandon, and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.